My name is Katie Murray, and on the behalf of all the authors, I would like to extend our appreciation to BJUI for allowing us to share our research and choosing our manuscript as the article of the week in August 2015. From the University of Kansas Medical Center, we present a prospective study of erectile function after transrectal ultrasonography-guided prostate biopsy. The objective of our study is to prospectively evaluate the effect of transrectal ultrasound-guided biopsy on erectile function at several time points after biopsy using the previously validated and widely utilized IIEF5 questionnaire. This survey was administered pre-biopsy and at 1, 4, and 12 weeks after biopsy to men after consent was obtained. 220 men were enrolled with a mean age of 64 years and a mean PSA of 6.7. As shown, 39% of patients reported no erectile dysfunction at baseline and 22% and 15% reported mild or mild to moderate erectile dysfunction. The overall mean IIEF5 score significantly decreased to 15.5, 17.3, and 17 from a baseline of 18 at 1, 4, and 12 weeks respectively. This is shown here in graphical form. A post hoc analysis showed that those patients without a previous biopsy had decreased scores up to 12 weeks and the patients older than 60 years of age had a decrease in IIEF5 scores at all time points after biopsy, indicating that extra caution and discussion with the patient regarding this potential side effect is extremely important in these select patient populations. As has been shown in previous retrospective studies, this finding does appear to be real and important to discuss with patients. The exact mechanism of erectile dysfunction is yet to be determined, but is most likely second to a multifactorial etiology. We believe that it is of extreme importance to disclose this potential adverse event to patients, especially in those greater than 60 years of age and undergoing their first prostate biopsy. These patients appear to be at highest risk for erectile dysfunction changes acutely and subacutely after biopsy.